Over 40 billion Oreos are made every single year. It's the world's most popular manufactured cookie. The geometric design stamped into these cookies has the Nabisco logo, the symbol of European quality, surrounding the word Oreo. William Turnier created the chocolate cookie design we see today back in 1952. Headphone jacks might become a thing of the past because of wireless technology. But if you've seen one, you might have noticed the rings at the base of the plug. One ring means single sound playback, two rings represent stereo sound in the left and right ear, while three rings means you've got stereo and a microphone built in. Now, the iconic orange, red, purple, yellow, and lime green rings of Fruit Loops hide a deep secret within. They don't represent different fruit flavors. All those rings are the same fruit flavors blended together. The colors are just for show. Hmm. The E in Dell's logo is at an angle because the founder, Michael Dell, wanted his technology to turn the world on its ear. A compass uses magnets to point to the magnetic North Pole. But it's not really north at all. The north pole of a compass magnet points toward the north because the north and south attract. Earth's south magnetic pole is near the geographic north, while the north pole is near Earth's geographic south. Confusing, isn't it? Those little red spots you sometimes see after you crack an egg are nothing to be worried about. Tiny blood spots can be caused by a small rupture in the blood vessel of the hen as it was laying the egg. Eggs with these blood spots are safe to eat, but that spot can be removed if you want. It won't affect the taste of the egg. That's comforting. Ketchup is a word taken from many cultures, like Chinese, Malay, and Indonesian. It originally meant a pickled fish sauce. Catsup is also an acceptable spelling used. However, ketchup is the most popular way it's spelled these days. Airbnb's logo isn't a bent paperclip, as it may seem to be. Bello, as it's called for belonging, means more than that. There's a person's head, the location symbol, and a heart for love. All joined together, they make Airbnb's iconic A and symbol of togetherness. E120, or natural red 4 food coloring, aka carmine, is made from tiny beetles. It's been used to color anything from cakes to candy to even drinks. The shine on candy also comes from bugs. This time, it's the Indian female lac bug. The beetle leaves behind a substance that is scraped from the trees to be formed into dry shellac that gives that glossy look. The Mozilla Firefox logo isn't a fox at all surrounding the planet. It's a red panda instead. The name Firefox is the English translation of its Chinese name. Those maintenance covers in the street are round for safety reasons. In past civilizations, like ancient Rome, manholes – that's what they were called back then – were square-shaped slabs of stone. Unfortunately, these were prone to accidents. If they weren't placed properly, a square cover could slip through the square hole diagonally. Ow! Placing a round cover eliminated this problem. A circle cover won't slip inside because there are no angles. A tomato isn't technically a vegetable, but a fruit. Banana trees aren't related to palm trees or trees at all. They're herbs. Banana is considered an herb because it never builds a woody trunk the way a tree does. Instead, it forms a succulent stalk, like lemongrass or its cousin, ginger. You can call them berries as well. The Golden Gate Bridge color wasn't meant to be the orangey-red that it is today. The bridge's original color was suggested to be many other colors, such as black with yellow stripes or even candy cane to make it visible for passing ships and aircraft, especially in the frequent San Francisco fog. But when the steel arrived, covered in an orange primer to protect it from rust, the architect preferred the international orange color, and it stuck. Those legs on the back of keyboards aren't an ergonomic design to help your wrists sit better. Using the legs out for too long can tire and hurt your wrists, plus slowing your typing down. The hinge legs are just there to help you see the letters and numbers better if you don't know how to touch type. The color of a chili pepper reveals nothing about its taste or heat. The smaller a chili is, the hotter it'll usually be. The heat doesn't come from the seeds, as believed, but the white membranes that hold them. 
hidden within the Toblerone logo of the mountain is the image of a bear standing on its hind legs about to eat that yodeler over there. No, not really. This is because bears are a big part of Bern, one of the biggest cities in Switzerland where the founder created the Triangle Chocolate Treat. Toblerone is also a play on the founder's family name, Tobler, and the Italian word Torone for honey and almond nougat. The space below a cup of noodles is there to protect the noodles during transport. This technique is called a middle suspension. Not only are they protected better in their styrofoam cup, but it also helps those noodles soften more evenly and quickly. Now, even though you might have thought that the hole in the barrel of a ballpoint pen had no purpose, it does. It's called a venting system, which helps the ink flow more smoothly. This way, an even amount of air pressure is created inside and outside the pen, allowing the ink to flow into the point easily. One of the most recognized logos in the cycling world has a hidden item in its famous logo. Inside the Tour de France name, a cyclist hides in the O, U, and R. Why keyboards have markings? If you look at your computer keyboard, you'll see two ridges on the F and J keys. Those help you position your hands and find the correct keys without looking. The trend started decades ago, when people started taking typing courses, learned to use all 10 fingers while positioning their index fingers on the F and J keys. Why you yawn? Now, folks used to believe that people yawn because their body needs to take in more oxygen. But that theory was revised in a 2014 physiological research. Scientists studied 120 individuals and found that yawning happened more in the summer and less in the winter. It's the brain's immediate response to regulating its temperature when it gets hot. Yawning also helps you wake up. The movement stretches your lungs and lets your body flex both the joints and muscles. Another study explains that contagious yawning in humans has to do with empathy. Why you snore when you're sleeping and not when you're awake? Well, that happens because air can't move freely through your nose or throat. That causes tissues to vibrate, hence your dinosaur-like sound. It doesn't happen when you're awake because the muscles in your throat hold the airway wide open to allow smooth airflow. But during sleep, those muscles relax and your airway shrinks. Why taxis are yellow? At the dawn of this mode of transportation, John Hertz, the founder of one company in New York, purchased several dozen used cars for his business. To make the vehicle stand out, he painted them yellow after reading a study by the University of Chicago, which said this color was the most visible from a distance. In Europe, yellow cabs had already toured the streets, but their career was short-lived. However, in 2013, green-painted cabs appeared in the city. Through GPS analysis, the Taxi Commission found that some areas in New York had limited access to taxis. So, green vehicles, called borough taxis, picked up passengers from those left-out areas to fill in the gaps. Why do calculators have solar cells? The first solar calculator hit the shelves in the late 1970s. Back then, scientists began experimenting with cheaper solar cells than the ones used on satellites. Calculators were among the first products to have them to boast how little power they needed to work. In the 1990s, companies announced that more solar power goods would soon come out. But they never did. The technology moved to larger products, such as lights and highway signs. Why do some sport coats have elbow patches? Originally, sport coats were made to be worn outdoors for sports. They had pieces of fabric in the elbows because it was easier and cheaper to replace just those parts than buy a brand new coat. Later, university professors and teachers began wearing them. The patches came in handy when the elbows rubbed against the desk and writing board. Traditionally, they were made of leather, suede, or heavy wool. But today, the patches are for aesthetic purposes. Why notebooks have page margins? In the olden days, <laughs> Paper was a sweet treat for rats, mice, and other rodents. To avoid losing valuable information from books and notebooks, people began leaving empty spaces around the edges. That's where most of the damage occurred. Later, when notebooks were printed, the margins stayed for notes, dates, and comments. 
In books, the spaces became a norm for both printing purposes and to prevent the information from being lost because of regular wear and tear. Why toothpaste tubes have color bars on them? There's a myth that the colored rectangles have something to do with the ingredients of the toothpaste. Ah. But the color bars are there, in fact, to indicate to the machines where the package must be cut, folded, and sealed. Different color codes are used for different packaging machines. Hmm, I like the other story better. How Play-Doh was created When this putty first came out, it was intended as a wallpaper cleaner that removes soot from the open fireplace. But soon, vinyl wallpapers came out, and the demand for the product dropped. Someone in the inventor's family read a newspaper article about making crafts using the cleaning putty. They tested it with some kids in the kindergarten, they loved it, and then the product was rebranded as the beloved Play-Doh. Why post-it notes are yellow Now, their inventor was trying to create a very strong, long-lasting adhesive, but ended up with a low-tack glue instead. While trying to promote his invention without success, his colleague suggested using it to temporarily stick bookmarks in his books. And bingo, post-it notes appeared. The yellow color occurred coincidentally because the lab next to them only had yellow scrap paper. Now here's a trick. Instead of putting the box grater vertically on top of a plate, put it horizontally, with no plate underneath, of course. This way, you won't risk scraping your knuckles because only your fingertips will eventually touch the grater when you reach the end of the process. Also, it gives the grater more stability, when otherwise you'd have to balance the grater or even hold it in the air with the other hand. When you're done, or when there's just too much grated stuff on the bottom wall of the grater, simply turn it on its side to pour the contents into the bowl or plate. Flowers in a vase would stay fresher for longer if not for the bacteria that breed in the water. Since copper has some antibacterial properties, dropping a penny into the water will help keep the microbes at bay and let you enjoy your flowers for that little bit longer. An easy way to check if your bed linen has dried completely is to put a small mirror in between the layers for about 5 minutes. If the mirror has steamed up when you pick it up, it means the sheets are still a bit damp. Let them dry until the mirror stops getting cloudy. A damp bed is a lovely breeding ground for fungi and bacteria. Okay, I'm in. If you have a not-very-healthy habit of eating in front of your computer, you'll be surprised at how much crumbs and grime there is inside your keyboard. Now, you can just turn it over and shake it vigorously, of course, but that's not very good for any piece of tech, you know. So instead, take a post-it note and run its sticky part over the keyboard. It will collect the little pieces of trash like magic. Even a better way to do it, though, is to take a slime and stick it to the keyboard, then take it away, squeeze it, and stick again in another part. The slime will fill the entire space between the keys, and its sticky properties will let it gather every little bit of garbage. Separating egg yolks from whites is easier using a plastic bottle. Break the necessary number of eggs into a bowl, and then take an empty plastic bottle and squeeze it. Hold the bottle over the yolk and release. It'll pull in air and the yolk together, leaving the white in the bowl. Repeat with the rest of the yolks and you're done! And that's no (laughs) yolk! If you're tired of spitting out the stones when eating cherries or want to make a cherry pie, push the stones out with a straw. Also, many garlic presses have a special tool on their handle that can be used exactly for that. Cleaning a blender can be a nuisance if you do it manually. Instead, fill it with hot water and add some liquid soap or detergent, then run it for about 10 seconds. Rinse it afterwards, and it's clean. Plaster walls can crumble, flake, and spread dust all over the floor when you hammer nails into it. Cut a strip of masking tape and stick it to the place you want to hammer a nail in. The tape won't let the plaster crack and crumble, leaving the hole neat and clean. Small scratches and dents on wooden furniture can be removed with some toothpaste or a walnut. For toothpaste, rub a pea-sized amount of it into the scratch until it's gone, then wipe the leftovers with a damp cloth. For a walnut, take a half of that brain-shaped nut and rub it into the dent. Then rub the area with your fingers and buff it with a soft cloth. This will help the wood absorb the oil from the nut, making the scratch sealed and gone. The sticky residue on jars left after you remove the stickers won't be easily removed by water and detergent. 
So, take some vegetable oil instead. Soak a cotton pad in it and wipe the sticky surface. Let it sit for a while and then wash the oil away together with the residue. If you can't comfortably reach the wick of a candle with a lighter, hey, take a stick of spaghetti. Light up its end and you'll get a burning stick that's easy to use for hard-to-reach places. Now, next time your razor blade's getting dull, try rubbing it backwards on a pair of jeans for regular upkeep. Not while you're wearing them, of course. Make sure you keep the blades dry, too, or even kept in mineral oil. That'll stop them from rusting. Keep all those jelly, ketchup, peanut butter, and mayo fresher for longer in your fridge by turning the contents upside down. This creates a partial vacuum inside the container, helping prevent mold growth. Storing ice cream upside down will prevent freezer burn, too. To bring your permanent marker back to life, simply put a few drops of rubbing alcohol into the felt material inside and shake. Once the felt absorbs the rubbing alcohol for a couple of minutes, the marker will be almost as good as new. Now, don't keep throwing away lettuce that goes black too quickly. Covering it with a dry paper towel and then placing it in an airtight container will help it keep fresher for much longer. This goes for any leafy greens you've got leftovers of. That sharpish bit sticking out of the cap of your favorite cream is there for a reason. These tubes are usually sealed with foil, so unless you love breaking your nails trying to open them, just flip the cap over and push. Your bobby pins might not stay in place if the grooves aren't facing the right way. They should always be on the bottom, close to your head. Still coming loose? Well, put a squeeze of hairspray right onto the bobby pin before you put it in your hair. Now, your cotton rounds pack has those strings on it, so you can hang it on a handy hook in the bathroom. But there's no need to loosen and tighten it back up every time. Check out the bottom of the pack. It has a perforated line. Tear it open carefully, and you're good to go. Soda bottles are always filled in such a way that there's some space between the liquid level and the cap. That's because these drinks contain carbon dioxide. This gas can expand if the bottle gets heated. If there's no air gap in the bottle, it'll break because of the pressure building inside. Also, when you open your drink, the gases go out in the form of bubbles, and the drink is likely to overflow. The gap helps with this problem, too. Except if you shake it up first, then open it. Now, I've never done that. There are sounds most people can't stand, like the sound of a fingernail on a blackboard or someone scratching a window. Such noise irritates the amygdala. That's a small part of your brain controlling your emotions, including fear and survival instincts. Some cheeses have holes in them. They're called eyes. These eyes are made by bacteria used in the process of production. When cheese is almost ready, these bacteria release carbon dioxide. And this gas forms bubbles that later become the cheese's eyes. See? Cats knock different things over because of their hunting instincts. Your cat is simply checking whether the thing is alive or not. Or it might want your attention. Cats are smart and know that humans come very fast when something is broken. When the pizza dough is ready, it gets manually spun in the air. This process removes lumps and creates its circular shape. It's more convenient to bake a round pizza. This way, it gets heated evenly. Plus, it's easier to cut a round pizza into equal parts. There have been reports of raining frogs, fish, and other unusual stuff dating back to ancient civilizations. Strong winds, such as those in a tornado or hurricane, sometimes get so powerful that they can lift up a school of fish or frogs and rain them somewhere miles away. Lightning is never a triangle, straight line, or circle. It always has a zigzag shape. Lightning is an electric current, and it always takes the path of least resistance. Air is uneven and irregular, containing dust particles, gases, and other substances. So, lightning just seeks the best way through. Flowers have different colors because of the color pigments they contain. But there are other factors, for example, the amount of light they receive while growing, or the temperature of the environment around them. Even the pH level of the soil can have an impact on flowers' coloration. By tilting their head, dogs try to understand all you're saying correctly. It's the way to adjust their ears to the sounds they hear. It may also be the way to show their empathy to the owner. Or they got something stuck in there. Tickling is bound to cause a laughter reflex, but nothing will happen if you tickle yourself. 
That's because there will be no element of surprise. Your brain knows what you're going to do. Barcodes speed up the purchasing process. If a barcode consists of 12 digits, the one on the very left is a system identifier. For example, 2 means it's a randomly weighed item. 3 is used for products related to health. The next 5 digits identify the manufacturer. And the following 5 are the product's number. The last one is the check digit. Scanners need it to make sure they've read the code correctly. The song is bound to get stuck in your head if its music is simple, the text is repetitive and short, and the rhythm makes you move. Another reason you might have an earworm is that you hear some songs too often, and your brain can easily detect them. Highlighters are filled with a special semi-transparent fluorescent ink that can glow in dim light. Yellow and light green hues are the most popular because they don't prevent you from seeing the text after black and white photocopying. Photocopiers perceive yellow and light green marks as very pale and don't print them. With age, your hair loses its natural color. It happens because keratin receives less pigment. As people grow older, the pigment cells in their hair follicles gradually vanish, and hair becomes gray. Some time passes and no pigment is produced at all. That's when hair turns white. Trees stop growing at a certain age. It might be because when a tree reaches a particular height, it gets difficult for it to pull water from the soil. Because after that, it needs to pump it all the way to the top, and that's when gravity comes into play. Some trees, like the baobab, start growing out instead of up once they reach their full height. Your own body makes mosquito bites swell and itch. A mosquito breaks your skin. Your immune system perceives the insect's saliva as a foreign substance, so it starts a special reaction to flush the intruder out of your body. A compound produced by the immune system, called histamine, makes the blood flow faster around the bitten area, and it causes the swelling. The histamine also sends a signal to the nearest nerves, which makes the bite itch. Geese usually fly in a V-shaped formation to conserve energy and make sure none of their team members get lost. You can't hum while holding your nose. Trust me. During humming, you exhale air. But when both your mouth and your nose are closed, the air can't escape. The longer you can hum like this is 2 seconds. Then you'll have to open your mouth and catch your breath. Road and construction workers are usually dressed in orange because the bright orange hue is visible even in bad weather. It's the most effective color to attract attention and alert people. No wonder lots of safety jackets and traffic cones are orange as well. Modern-day, perfectly round coins used to be shaped randomly or have no shape whatsoever in the past. But dishonest people stole valuable metals the coins were made of by chipping their corners off. Of course, it was illegal. To prevent this kind of fraud, they invented round coins. After that, it instantly became obvious when the coins had been fiddled with. What about those metal rivets most jeans have? They're more than a design choice. They were added to protect areas that experience the most strain, such as pocket corners and the base of the fly. The rivets hold the fabric together, even when it's being stretched and pulled during work. And since we're talking about clothing, have you ever wondered about that tiny fifth pocket at the front of your jeans? Well, first of all, it isn't really a fifth pocket. Originally, jeans were made with four pockets, including that little one in front. The fifth pocket is actually the one on the back left, which was only added to jeans in 1901. The little pocket, though, was important a long time ago. Cowboys needed to keep their pocket watches safe while riding out on the range. Yeehaw! That pocket kept the watches protected, but also handy. And then, people became so used to it that jeans just look weird without one. Another strange holdout from a bygone day is that stitched V on the front of some sweatshirts. What if I told you that those exact stitches hold the whole shirt together? Well, then I would be lying, and I never do that. But back in the 1940s, this V was very useful. First, the V stitch was initially used to add a patch of stretchy rib fabric to the shirt so that it could fit over our big heads more easily. Secondly, these shirts were specifically designed for sports, so the V included an additional piece of fabric to absorb the sweat that would build up during a game or a workout. As stretchy fabric became readily available and better at handling perspiration, the V lost its traditional value. But like the tiny jean pocket, it has continued as a decorative feature. 
a reminder of our big-headed ancestors who apparently only sweated just below the chin. But moving on. One place you won't find many people sweating is the golf course. You will see quite a few fashion disasters, sure. But sweat? Mm, Not so much. Golf was invented around the 16th century in Scotland. Back then, the ball was perfectly round and smooth. Over time, the ball would become dented from use, and at some point, golfers discovered that these imperfections actually helped the ball fly farther. Dimples were added on purpose in the 1900s, when it was found out that they reduced the aerodynamic drag that slowed down a smoother ball, and the dimples made the balls easier to control. And no, not all golf balls are created equal. The number of dimples can range from 300 to 500 with one company producing a ball with over a thousand little dents. Wow, a little overboard, eh? Need a quick, refreshing drink after a round of golf? Juice boxes, created back in 1963, are very convenient. But why do they have these large triangular flaps on top? Their lifted flaps act as hand grips. This stops you from accidentally squeezing a full box and spilling juice all over the place, like onto your favorite t-shirt or the new couch. Now, when you're done golfing, grab your backpack with that leather diamond patch with two vertical openings. It's commonly referred to as a lash tab, but I much prefer its other name, pig snout. I mean, it certainly looks like one. You typically find these pig snouts on packs used by hikers and climbers. The diamond is a place to tie any extra gear that they need to carry, like boots, cooking equipment, or sleeping bags. But these lash tabs are also becoming more common on smaller backpacks. They're a nod to the past, but just as useful. Attach your running shoes to one next time you head to the gym, keeping those stinky things away from the rest of your clothes. Now, I'm sure you're a great driver. But for years, you've probably been neglecting an important safety feature right in front of your eyes. That rear-view mirror has a small tab located at the bottom center. It's high time you started using it. When this is flipped forward, the mirror is in day mode providing a strong reflection of everything behind the car. Flipping the tab backward changes the whole situation to night mode. This reduces the brightness of the headlights behind you, resulting in a safer drive. Another cool car tip? If you're borrowing from a friend, using a rental, or have the memory of a houseplant, cars feature a handy indicator to let you know which side the gas tank is on. It's a tiny arrow next to the pump icon that points either left or right. Where the arrow points, that's where the gas tank can be found. And that's one less thing you have to remember. Okay, off to the grocery store. A regular shopping cart has a useful feature you might have been overlooking. Carts usually include loops in the metal frame, often behind the child seat. As you bag your groceries, hang the ones with fragile or squishable items, like eggs or bread, on these loops. Now they're out of harm's way when you toss that giant watermelon into the cart. (laughs) Later, when you're unloading your groceries, do yourself a favor and grab that box of plastic wrap. You know, the one that is impossible to unroll without the whole tube coming out while the plastic wrap sticks to itself. Check out either end of the box, and you'll see small tabs that you are supposed to push in. This helps to hold the roll in place so you can easily pull the plastic wrap out without all the fuss. Aluminum foil boxes also have these tabs. Now that you can finally use that plastic wrap, try this appealing hack. Separate that bunch of bananas and cover each stem in some plastic wrap. The stem releases a gas called ethylene. When it reaches the rest of the banana, it encourages the fruit to ripen and turn black. If you wrap the stems, your bananas will last longer. So anyone who's ever licked a Nintendo Switch cartridge will confirm they taste bad, and the bitterness stays in your mouth for a while. You can thank denatonium benzoate for that. It's one of the most unpleasant tastes out there, and carts are coated with it so people and pets won't accidentally swallow them. Before we had better storage for books and records, they'd be kept in places where mice and rats could easily munch on them. But they'd only chew around the edges. Margin lines were put there to keep the writing away from the edge, so you don't lose any important information to the rodents. Take a closer look at your red Solo party cup. The lines around it are for measuring liquids. The bottom line equals 1 ounce, the second is 5 ounces, and the top line means you have 12 ounces in your cup. 
you've probably been storing your peanut butter wrong your whole life. The trick is to keep the jar upside down so the oils don't come up on the surface. Sometimes screwdrivers are meant to work together with wrenches. It helps especially if you're working at an awkward angle. Just slide the wrench onto the screwdriver's handle. It fits snugly. And next time you need to put in a hook screw, put the screw eye into your drill. The round end will hold the hook in place, and the project will go a lot quicker. If you don't have a screw eye on hand, use a key. The black grating on your microwave door is called a Faraday shield. It prevents the rays from escaping the oven. But get this, it can also block phone signals. So if you're tired of endless calls and texts, put your phone in the microwave. Just don't turn it on. If you get a box of chocolates with a little dent in between the holes for the candy, push it. The chocolate surrounding it will pop right out of their snug little compartments. You shouldn't have to push the sweet from the bottom, though. This weighs much quicker. You try to pull out some aluminum foil, but the roll keeps coming out of the box. It's not supposed to. Push in the tabs on the sides of the box. They'll hold the roll in place. Don't throw away those little silica gel packets you get in new shoes and bags. You can use them to absorb moisture in any place it collects. Phone get wet? Put it in a plastic baggie with a silica gel packet. It'll get the water out. Throw one in your shoes to keep them smelling fresh. Tape one to the lid of your pet's food container to keep mold out. You can even put a packet in your toolbox to prevent rust. Women's shirts oddly have buttons on the left, even though most people are right-handed. It comes from the times when upper-class ladies would have handmaidens dress them. The wearer's left became the dresser's right, so it was easy for them. Pants creases have their story, too. To squeeze in as many goods as possible to transport them, folded pants got heavily pressed. It was next to impossible to get rid of the resulting creases, so why not make them fashionable? There's a loop on the back of your button-up shirt, so you can hang it without it getting wrinkled. And fun fact, back in the day, it showed your availability. Young guys used to cut those loops off once they started dating someone. Doorknobs are usually made of brass, bronze, or some other copper alloys for a reason. They have an antimicrobial effect. They get rid of germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. But you still have to wash your hands after touching doorknobs. Rough edges on the sides of coins come from an ancient practice. The weight of coins made from precious metals used to show the real value of the coin. People would shave off the edges, melt them together, and make new coins from what they collected. To avoid that, ridges were added, so you could see if a coin had been tampered with. Toothpaste stripes are no more than a marketing trick. In the 70s, a leading toothpaste brand introduced a blue stripe to show that their product had double the action. Mmm. Solid white toothpaste have the same functions, though. Those blue bristles on your brush are a lot more helpful than toothpaste stripes. When they fade, it's time to change your toothbrush. Take the lid off your to-go cup and turn it upside down. You'll get an instant coaster. It has a rim on the inside that your cup bottom fits into perfectly. If you prefer your soda in a bottle, check out the little plastic disc in the cap. It's there to keep the gases in your carbonated drink. Without it, you'd just have syrupy brown water. Ew. Detachable headrests in a car can be used to break the windows in case you get stuck in. Just don't go swinging at the window, though. You could hurt yourself. Slide one of the prongs in between the pane and the door. Pull the headrest back towards yourself, and the window will shatter. Don't forget about the tab on the bottom of your rearview mirror. Pull it back during nighttime driving. If someone's behind you, their headlights won't be blinding. Pull the tab forward again for daytime driving. The spoon to your McFlurry looks so weird with all those tabs because it's actually fitted to the ice cream machine to stir your treat. Bath foam isn't only for fun or a nice smell. The bubbles keep your bath water warm for longer. The air inside them acts as insulation. But it only works for acrylic bathtubs. Ones made from metal lose heat really fast either way. Small holes on your headphones let the air circulate, which is a must for good sound quality. Wooden hangers may be bulky, but you should still opt for them over plastic or metal. 
Hangers made from cedar keeps moths away. The oils in the wood are a natural insect repellent. You can also add some dry orange peels to your closet to keep the bugs away. Now, who hasn't gone through the confusing task of having to measure how much pasta to cook for one serving? Well, here's the solution. The holes in the center of pasta spoons. They were actually made for measuring the exact amount of dry pasta you need for one serving. If you try stuffing wet cooked pasta through it, well, good luck with that. On a similar topic, have you ever wondered why pen caps have holes in them? Maybe you thought it was a design feature to regulate air pressure. But in reality, these holes have a much simpler and more important function – to reduce the risk of choking. Now, lots of people love to bite on their caps, and this tiny hole prevents them from choking in case they accidentally swallow a cap and it gets stuck in their throat. For kitchen lovers, there's a hidden secret right in front of your eyes that can change your life. Think pans. Now think handles. Right, they have holes in them. As it turns out, these holes were designed to hold the spoon you're using for cooking. And instead of dripping sauce all over the stove or your kitchen floor, you can place the spoon in the hole and let it drip the sauce directly back into the pan. Woohoo! Speaking of everyday items, and I was, most doorknobs are made of brass because this material makes them naturally germ-free. Unlike plastic ones, brass doorknobs are kind of magical. They can disinfect themselves without you having to clean them. Neat, right? Have you ever noticed that at the bottom of a measuring tape, there is a little dip? You can find it in that metallic part you need to pull on to measure something. Well, that dip is actually the exact size of a regular nail. It was designed for people to place the tape on top of a nail and use it as a support while they stretch the tape. Well, I can't wait to try it out for myself. As for the margins in your notebook, they were invented to protect people's notes from mice. No, the mice weren't copying your answers for the math quiz. Actually, there were times when people had to cohabitate with rats and mice that often chewed on paper. So, to prevent information from getting completely lost, people created margins. This way, texts were moved closer to the middle of pages and remained unharmed by rodents. Hmm, perhaps this is where to digest information came from. And what about those tiny holes at the bottom of airplane windows? They have an extremely important function of regulating the air pressure inside the cabin. In other words, they help planes fly high up in the sky. Big responsibility, right? By the way, tray tables on an airplane are the germiest places inside the entire cabin. Studies showed that the trays had eight times the amount of germs on the toilet flush button. Now, how about we cut a commercial airplane in half and see what's inside? Well, it would look more or less like this. Rows of seats on top and everything else that needs to be stored at the bottom. I'm talking about passengers' luggage, emergency supplies, parts of the wing system, and so on. Moving on to bowling balls. Yes, I know it's a clumsy transition. Anyway, have you ever wondered what the insides of a bowling ball look like? If you have cut a professional ball in two, you'll see a familiar shape. Look closely, do you see it? Doesn't that look like the logo of Brightside? Anyway, professional bowling balls are different from the ones in your local bowling alley. That's because they're designed to make fancy moves. They actually have some really complex engineering inside. They're shaped to help skilled professionals get more strikes. The weight of professional bowling balls is designed to be projected inward as they travel down the bowling lane. This makes it harder for them to get into the gutters on the sides of the lane. Speaking of balls, let's take a look inside a baseball. To make it light and aerodynamic, producers use several different layers. Starting from the core, we have a cork center enveloped by black rubber. Then there's a layer of red rubber followed by two or three alternating layers of wool yarn. After that, 
there's a visible white leather cover and that beautiful red seam on the side, stitching it all together. And what if you had x-ray vision and managed to look inside a human bone? Ooh, spooky! I'd say what calls most attention is this spiderweb-like situation at the center of the bone. In reality, it's a highly condensed and complex structure of nerves that you have inside your bones. Aren't you lucky? Now, I've got a riddle for you. What is round can be found near the ocean and looks like an aerial view of the Guggenheim Museum in New York City, the one that's made almost entirely of ramps. If you said a nautilus shell, hey, then you guessed right. A nautilus is a shellfish whose house you can find in countless souvenir stores near the beach. It's made up of two layers, a matte white outer layer and an iridescent white inner layer. And if you were to cut it in half, it would look very similar to the insides of the Guggenheim Museum.